Hello everybody, Miss Jackie Russell here and welcome to my channel. Hey guys, today I'm going to do a full get ready with me with my Estee Lauder Blockbuster that I received I don't know, maybe about a month ago. I had several of you say, yes, please do a get ready with me. So I've got my case here and it has all the products in here. I want to see if I left. Nope, there's nothing in this department. So everything is inside here. And this is what we have. And of course, I've already shown each individual product in my last video, and I'll try to have that linked up there for you. But I'm going to do a full get ready with me. And the first thing that we would need to do is to cleanse our skin. And this is the Advanced Night Cleansing Jelly with 15 amino acids. And I have not opened this and tried this yet, so this will all be new. And we're going to put this on. And of course, I'll have to go and get a washcloth to wash it off. But it doesn't really have a scent, in case you're wondering. And I'm just getting right into this because it's going to take a while to get ready with me, if you know what I mean. So we're going right into it. And we'll talk along the way. Let me go get my washcloth and I'll be right back. I don't really have any makeup on because last night, of course, I'd wiped it all off. And it's cleansing just fine. Of course, made my face a little red, now didn't it? But feels good. It's not sticky. And it didn't have a scent to it, so that's probably pretty good. And it has 15 amino acids. So that was our first product that I'm trying out, and it felt good. I liked that it didn't have a scent, actually. It says it's for AM and PM, massage gently over damp skin and thoroughly with warm water. So that's what we did, and it's drying. It feels good. Now, in my Blockbuster, I got the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair, and that is the Synchronized Multi Recovery Complex with Hyaluronic Acid and a lot of other goodies in it. And we're going to put a little of that on after we cleansed. And they say to pat on your Hyaluronic Acid. And it shows that for absorption. And that's what we're doing here. And how is your Saturday going? I'm hoping this comes up on Saturday. I'm not real sure. But I'm hoping that's when it's going to come up. I am recording on Saturday. But I've got a lot of things going on. I'm going to use the Revitalizing Supreme. And this is the Youth Power Cream. And this is a very nice cream. I really like it. It's one of my favorites. It's real creamy, as you can see. I'm going to take some just off the top here. I have others open, but I don't have any of this because I've used it all up. Same way with my um, Hyaluronic Acid, the Recovery Advanced Knot Repair. You can use that day and night. So it doesn't have to be just for day. I'm going to put a little bit of this on my neck. So this is a very, very creamy and rich moisturizer, and I really love it. It's probably one of my favorites for daytime, and I use it on a regular basis. And again, that was Revitalizing Supreme, and it's the Youth Power Cream. So very good. Something, of course, I would recommend. I always recommend Estee Lauder. And then this is the Advanced Night Repair Eye Cream. And I use the cream day and night, so I don't just hold myself back. It's real creamy, too. And I just pat that along my eyes here. And we give it some time to go in. And then a lot of times I will go over my eye on both sides. 
and down my little crease lines. On my lips, on my upper lips. Now, while that's all absorbent in, like I said, I hope y'all are having a nice day. And like I said, today's Saturday and we're gonna have 70s. It's just been beautiful here. I know we had some really rough weather and now it's been really nice. And this is all drying in really good. Now, something that's not in my kit is my mattifier. And this is my Estee Lauder finisher, so to speak. It's my perfecting primer shine control and this is probably one of my favorite primers to use and i'm starting to get low on that but i just put this all over to prime my face and then after that of course i put on my foundation it did not come with foundation it did come with some liquid makeup, eye makeup remover, but of course we're not using that today. And I will tell you, I use the Prime Water. I don't use the Estee Lauder. I like the Prime Water better. And um, I'm just not a favorite. That's the one thing that I'm not a favorite of with Estee Lauder. Now my foundation I'm gonna use is the Estee Lauder Futurist Hydra, and it's got an SPF of 45. And I just usually pump a couple of little you know i guess bouts out i don't even know what color this is oh it's a four in one so it's a neutral so it should help take away some of the redness on my skin now that's my makeup and it does full coverage it's a light coverage and of course it's got the spf on it and it's really nice and sometimes i'll use that even for my eyes as far as the base goes for instead of using this this here is my concealer and I am working with a little bit of a sty in my eye, which is not a fun thing, I'll tell you that. And I'm gonna put this on real quick. And as you can tell, I just kind of blend it all over. I don't know if that's how you're supposed to do it. That's how I do it. And it pretty much matches the color that I had on, so it's not like lightening or brightening my eyes at all but it'll be a little primer that'll be on there for the shadow and i did not have an estee lauder powder because i have so much powder that i'm still trying to use up so i'm going to be using it's rachel couture and it's a translucent powder and it's light is the color and i'm going to put that on where i have my concealer to set it actually and I'm just going to put some on all over kind of take that basic shine off my face and the brush that I'm using is the billion dollar brand that I got from the Fat Fit Fun Box now I don't know if I can tell y'all my brushes where I got them from but anyway this was the translucent powder that I used whoops didn't mean to blind you and it's the Rachel Couture, and I don't even know if you could read that name on there, just barely. Okay, now, for the blush, I've got my Estee Lauder blush, and this is a pinkish color. It is an older one. I haven't used it in a while, but I'm trying to use all Estee Lauder products. And I'll be looking in my mirror for some of this that I'm putting on. But that's kind of like a rosy color. And I'm not sure if it's a color that I would go to right now, but that's the color that we're going with today. And I forgot to look in my palette to see if they even had one. No, there's no blush in there. So I did the right thing. With the blush, I used my Anastasia brush, I believe it is. And I think I got this from Curator. 
but you could tell this is about gone, but this is what I do. This is all I do for contouring, right underneath where I put the blush and then I go underneath my jaws or whatever they call that and I'll go down my throat. And just to add a little bit more contouring and sometimes I'll go down my nose like this on this side and I'll use a little bit of the light on there and as you can tell, I'm going to have to be replacing this soon. But I am using it up. I am trying to use up my product. I'm trying to be on a low buy. So all of that, you know, kind of works together. Now, I've got everything on. And in here, I have several things, of course, to use. But we're going to use their eyeshadow. But I did bring in an Estee Lauder eyebrow pencil. And... This is Estee Lauder, the Brow Multitasker. It's a three in one, it has a spoolie on the end. And I'm gonna fill in my eyebrow. And I will tell y'all on a normal basis, I probably do use the billion dollar eyebrow more than I use the Estee Lauder. It just glides on easier for me, and I just, I like it. I don't know, if that's the only thing I can tell you. But this is my favorite one to use at Best Day Lauder. So, just to fill that in just a little bit. Okay, now we're going to liner, and I'm using my new one. It has the dark on the end and I'm going to go in the corners of my eyes and it may be a little bit too thick there hold on I always use a q-tip to correct And when you're using the Q-tip to correct, sometimes it will spread it all the way under, which that's what it's done. So that's what we're doing today. This liner is really very, very good. You do not need a lot of liner. And a lot of times I will go up on each side to lift my eye just a little bit. And you can see one side got a lot more up and a lot thicker. So I'm gonna try to thin that down, which I don't know if I'm gonna be able to. I'll just thicken that other one up. Now I can correct that out a little bit, but you can tell one of them's a little lower than the other and that's okay. And then I always use like a lighter color right through here just to open up my eyes more because I do have smaller eyes. So I want to open them up a little bit. And I know it looks bright, but by the time we do the other things, that'll all balance itself out. So that's kind of like the basis of the artistry. We're just kind of getting started. And there's really not any huge mistakes and anything that you do make a mistake on you can correct it now i want to show you the palette because that's what we'll start working with next and as you can see it is a very pretty palette i really like this and i'm going to start off with a base and i'm going to use that light purple color right there kind of in the middle and i'm just going to put that all over the tops of my eyes and you can already see that it's got that light purple I'm gonna go all the way up as you can see it's giving me a nice little tint of purple and then I'm gonna use the pink here and I just kept it on the same brush now I don't know if you should do that but I really don't worry about that too much and I'll just be quite honest with you I mix and match my brushes. I just pull what I need and I just get what I need and that may not be proper etiquette, but that's what I do. 
and I want to let you know what I'm doing. <laughs> now I am going to color in a little bit on the edges and I want to try it with this color instead of the darkest color and let's see how that looks. I always go in and do the corner of my eye and this here looks dark enough to cover up the brown a little bit from the eyeliner and still give me some definition and it's still a little strong on that side. And it may just be one of those days where it's just going to be a stronger look. But I do like the purpley, dark, mauve colors on my eye. So that's, you know, this palette's perfect for me in that sense. I'm going to use this color here. And what we're going to do with that color is we are going to use it like in my crease and see if we can't get a little bit more depth there. And I would say this palette's really working out pretty good. I like the purple colors and the pinks together and I think this is going to be a nice one. And I'm not sure why there's a point on one side other than my skin. It does that sometimes and then I have to go back in and go across the top just to kind of, I don't know, weed it out a little bit or blend it out a little bit. Maybe that's the right word to use. And then I didn't use the brown color and I may try a little bit of that on my eye to see how that works right through here. And this is a light brown and I don't know that I can even tell that we've put it on because it just blends right in with the rest of it. You see what I'm saying? So, but it's a very pretty color. Now I like the pink. So I'm gonna go in with this brush and do a little bit more pink right on the insides here. And you can tell that I've added a little bit more pink and I really don't think I need any more brown, but I am going to put a little bit of that brown in my crease just to blend it in. And like I said, I don't even know if you can really tell that I did that. And remember how white my eyes were before? Well, now it's all toned down with everything that I put on my face. So, now we're ready for mascara. And in the package of the Blockbuster, they did have the Sumptuous Extreme Long Last Multiplying Volume Mascara. And we're going to use that. And I really do like the Estee Lauder Mascara. There are a lot of good mascaras out there. And you all know I use the Estee Lauder. I also use the Prime Mascara, Prime Lash. That is another one of my favorites. But I do like the Estee Lauder. And it's probably the one I've used the longest in my life. And as you can tell, it is lengthening them and making them volume-wise. And it's just a nice mascara. And I just put a little bit down on the bottom of my eyelashes. Not much. I just mostly focus on my upper lashes. And... I mean, that looks good enough to me. I mean, I might could go over one more eye here. This one here always seems to be less. And you know why I think that is? I think it's because my eyelashes are not as long on this side than this side. And I have been using that Grand Lash Serum on my eyelashes. And I really do think that that has been helping a lot. But that is my mascara. That came in the Blockbuster. And the next thing we're gonna do is lip liner, which it didn't come with a lip liner, so I brought out one of my Estee Lauder lip liners. And this one is in the shade Blush. And I don't know if they still have this. They have changed out some of their colors. 
and I just go under my lip line and I do my little I don't know what you call that shape of the lip because of my thin lips and my lines above my lips I'm limited on what I can do because if I go too much higher then it'll fill in those lines that are on my lips and I don't want that to happen so the next step after I've done that is choosing a lipstick and I have this pink that came in here and I have this more neutral color now I'm gonna be honest with y'all <laughs> with what I usually do I usually put on a very good neutral so that's my topper that's what I start with and I think that's a very pretty color and look at that packaging it's very smooth and this one the color that it is to go with their theme that they had in their box this is celestial nude so that's what I have on here and like I said I don't know if you can purchase that or not and this one here is Saturn rain and it does say on the bottom there that it's a limited edition so it may only be available in the blockbuster so I'm not sure and one thing about Estee Lauder and the blockbuster they usually do a red and this year they did this pink color and the nude but that is my look and that is my get ready with me and that's how I get ready and this of course was using Estee Lauder and I really like both of those lipsticks they are very very nice and Estee Lauder has some great lipsticks they did have some beautiful magnolia which is a hand cream and I'm gonna put some of that on right now this is gonna smell really good and it does it's very rich and creamy and it just smells like a magnolia so it's very nice and fresh so that is my Estee Lauder look with the blockbuster that's what I came up with using these colors on the palette which I'm gonna love this palette I can tell you right now I knew that when I got the colors so you let me know what you think about my get ready with me and I'm almost ready I just need to probably take my hair down and let's see how this is gonna look with my hair down and it's gonna be a little fluffed out after being up like that but this is my get ready <laughs> get ready with me Estee Lauder blockbuster and I hope you enjoyed this I wanted to share this with you because when I introduced the blockbuster I had several of you that asked me to do a get ready with me for the Estee Lauder and I wanted to do this all Estee Lauder and every product I used was Estee Lauder except for this Rachel Couture which I used because I didn't want to buy powder that I have several I guess you could say loose translucent powders that need to be used up so the only thing that I would add to this to go out the door would be a lip plumper and I usually use either Buxom and or Too Faced injection so those are the two that I use the most I do have some others that I like but that would be the one last thing that I would do and I didn't bring any of that in here with me today but I wanted to share this with you I hope you enjoyed today's little get ready with me and I hope you all have a great day and a great rest of your weekend depending on when this comes out whenever you see it and also I want to take a moment of silence and this is going to be in remembrance of our dear friend Nancy Rounds I learned yesterday that she passed last weekend and I do not know any of the details I know that she was very ill with COVID last year and she continued to have breathing problems off and on during the year and when I'd watch her she would mention you know if she was having a bad day or might have to cut her video short because she couldn't talk anymore because she was having problems breathing so I don't know if that had anything to do with it but I would now like to take a moment in her memory and I'd like for y'all to say prayers of course for her family 
her daughter. I'm not sure if she had a son or not and grandchildren. I know they're all terribly missing her and we all miss her. All of us that knew her are missing Nancy. So let's take a moment of silence in remembrance for Nancy. Lord, we praise you and we thank you and we ask that you comfort Nancy's family as they are going through the grieving process of losing such a wonderful mother, grandmother, all those in her family and friends, including us on our YouTube family community. We loved Nancy and we miss her and we pray that she rest in your arms forever and comfort those that are missing her. In Jesus' name, amen. That ended on a sad note, but I just, I needed to do that because I loved her. She was a great channel. She was one of the first friends that I got on the YouTube channel, and I was very new, and she had asked me for a photo to put in with her New Year's, the first year that we had a New Year, and she said, you know, anyone that would be willing to send a photo, she would love that, and I will say that she showed that photo every year in her celebration of the new year and like I said she was very sweet and very loving she was my wine buddy because me and her both liked wine she liked all kinds of wines I liked red wine but you know we talked about it we would talk about how we'd like to have our wine with our dinner and well you all know she was just exceptional she wore her wig she had fun she had all kinds of costumes and props that she got and she was just wonderful we miss you nancy and god bless your family and guys that's all i have today for the estee lauder blockbuster and let me know what you think about my look would you be interested in getting any estee lauder products i can tell you they are excellent i have been using them well, for over 30 years, long time, and I use everything, as you can tell. I have all their products just about. So, as for Estee Lauder and my get ready with me, that's all I have. And as usual, I wish you all a blessed and happy day. Bye-bye.